no filter whatsoever. Aw, oh, dude. It'd be the best. But now we got X Yosher versus. I think it's DLC. DLC. D I L C. DLC. D L L C. Okay, well, X Yosher is still rocking Fox. Yeah. I mean, there's still a couple people, you know, who stuck out with uh, with Fox. Mm -hmm. Most of the other spaces have moved on to Wolf. Uh, no. Like, I feel like it's only a kind of. I feel like. Like, Fox still has his tools that make him really terrifying. He's got that back air. His up air um, chasing is still phenomenal in this game. Right, oh. and he has he actually has a better up smash <laughs> yeah. in Ultimate than he did in Smash 4. But uh, as far as, like, I know, it's like, classically what the Foxes like to do is, like, ledge trap. I mean, the Vortex is still there, but let's be real. A lot of, a lot of characters have Vortex. Yeah, a lot of characters have Vortex, and I, it kind of makes Fox a little less special, but he's still fast. And what makes Fox special still is just how much pressure he's still able to put onto you. That's right. I mean, just being, like, just being a, a naturally fast character, you're able to apply pressure just by moving around and staying in your opponent's face. Uh, oh, great forward smash on the... Like, that was a great call-out coming up from the DLC. And now... But have you seen... As you've seen, X Yosher's been getting him with the dash attack and then just constantly chasing him down with an up air. If he messes it up, do another dash attack. What, what do you have to lose? He has not really much um, landing lag on anything. That's true, but... It, in this kind of matchup, I mean, Palutena also has a few abilities that can just straight up nullify the dash attack. Mm -hmm. So X Yosher has to be a little bit careful. Yeah, you can't throw it out mindlessly. Yeah, but it's more—it's well, more of if if X Yosher gets him into disadvantage state. You know, after he hits the first dash attack, then you can't really react with Nair or That's with Nair. Like you need to wait for—you need to wait for yourself to land, put yourself in a place where you have like some control. But now, DLC got him with the Nair, but he couldn't really do much after it. I mean, I feel like... Well, we'll just have to see what how DLC can, can actually adapt. Yeah. Because x is playing pretty standard. He's doing the dash attacks, getting the Nair chains uh, after, like, the Nair. Nair dash attack, Nair dash attack, Nair dash attack. Mm -hmm. Oh, man, that was that's a meaty hitbox. <laughs> Even with the Shine Stall, DLC still caught him with, uh, with the side B. Oh. Oh, oh, no forward smash. Yeah, you got to take those grabs when you can get them, especially, mm -hmm. like, with X Yosher and Fox in general just landing right in front of him. Mm -hmm. Like, some, stu some stuff is safer than you think. Oh, but there's the, the side beat to up air, confirm. Not going to kill, uh, kill just yet, but now this is where... This is kind of scary for X Yosher. He needs to, like, reset himself into the position where he could get the nair up smash. I mean, he doesn't even need to get a nair up smash. At this point, he's just looking for DLC, who's being very aggressive right now, playing, pushing a lot of buttons to push the wrong button and then just punish with an up smash. Oh, Ooh. that was unfortunate. I, I almost thought he hit him with the last frame of that move. I mean, just good spacing coming out from X Yoser, but a nair uh, yeah. will punish X Yoser, illusioning to the other side of the stage. Up smash not going to do it. Yeah, not going to hit him. We need if. I feel like if DLC lands a back air, but there's the up air coming in from X Yosher. Closing out the game. Yeah, X Yosher's sweating a little bit. I mean, he had a quite the lead uh, in game one, but DLC able to bring it back with just good Palutena play. Yeah, that DLC in air coming in clutch. <laughs> like it, it's such a, it has such a massive hitbox. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like a, what's the word when it's uh, bigger when than you expect? Oh. <laughs> um, ah, whatever. Words <laughs> are hard. <laughs> that's, why, that's why I commentate, you know. <laughs> but. It's like a misleading hitbox? Yeah, or? misleading. Yeah. Something like that. <laughs> I don't want to bring up a thesaurus, <laughs> you know. All right. Well, game two, X Yosher taking game one. And now we're going to Triplats, which is uh, traditionally a lot better for spaces, like very comfortable state for them. But you know what? It's also really good for Palutena as well. Yeah, I, I feel like Palutena has the same tools to kind of like trap you onto those platforms with the Nair. And it, it kind of gets you in like that whole reset situation, you know? You're still standing up, but you're still stuck on the platform. That's right. And on top of that, they can also use the platforms to do like platform cancel up Bs. Mm -hmm. So, you know, they can mix up their movements and the recoveries just a little bit more. Yeah, but the, one of the problems is Fox loves this stage. Once you're on that platform yourself, you can't really... Get back on. You can't get yourself back on the center stage or onto the floor. Those up airs are so pressure. Like, there's right. so there's so much pressure. It's, it's very tough to get away from it. But 
I mean, DLC is making good use of these platforms so far. He's able to use those platforms to actually uh, get himself out of hit stun with uh, just falling off the ledge. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of what you need to do. If you kind of like ledge cancel yourself from uh, hitting the stage. Oh man, that, was that, that fair DI? was DI was gross. <laughs> but, unfor but now he's got the situation where he could probably take the stock pretty easily. If, if he's patient enough. And if he doesn't get his opponent to too high of a percent. Well, he's at 130 right now, so he's going to be looking for an up smash or an up air. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, like, Soft hit and air is not going to do it. Yeah, like, this is kind of like the weird situation where Fox always has, where they're at too much percent, where you have to get the hard read. Oh, just you like mean that. where you have to earn it? Where you have to actually <laughs> earn it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, a lot of characters, I feel like, you don't really need to earn your kill confirm, you know? <laughs> that's like, true. Like, that's a lot of characters in this game. <laughs> that's true. It's definitely not as... Uh, as cheap as, as Smash 4, but here we go. And that's a lie. They had kill confirms off grab. <laughs> oh, I like that jab one yeah, and the falling sick. air. <laughs> the back air getting him onto the other platform, but couldn't really follow much off after that. But that was a quick 99%. I kind of blinked. <laughs> I mean, that's just the, the raw damage output of Fox. He's had that since forever. Mm -hmm. Definitely not going to take that away from him. Yeah, we need an up. I feel like an up smash could have closed it out, but that was uh, a little delayed. Yeah, he definitely took his time there. He might not have. He was might have been trying to scout out which side mm -hmm. DLC was going to land on him with his teleport. Yeah. Uh, it just unfortunately took a little bit too long. Now getting hit by the sour spot of up smash. Yeah. If you didn't know I had one, it does now. You do now. What was that? That was a weird trade. It sent him in the weirdest direction too. That's right. That's right. Up smash? No up smash. No, no, no. Yosher is playing maybe just a little bit too safe. He's respecting his opponent a little too much. There's been about four or five counts where he could up smash. It right there. Up, okay, up air. All right, dealer's choice, dealer's choice. Dealer's choice, <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah, he definitely did have opportunities because with you, um, with DLC short hop narrowing all, all this time, it, it's kind of putting yourself wide open for uh, the easiest um, anti-air up smash in the world. And uh, Fox's up smash is huge. Even mm. if DLC is throwing out nares and, like, tr slowly approaching you, mm -hmm. like saying, I'm going to do this, and if you get hit by it, it's your fault. Uh, you can just up smash and take the trade. Yeah, like that that singular trade will be super beneficial for you. Oh. You're most likely going to kill him. That jab almost killed him, by the way. Yeah, I mean, Palutena's jab has always been strong. I think it even killed in Smash 4. But here we go, back throw, get him oh. out of here. And this is um, a mountain to climb for uh, DLC, but a few nares and an up air, you're right back in the game. That's right. Oh, but this isn't this position you want to be in. Okay, uh, shoulder check. Oh, we're going, mixing it up. Going the up throw. He's looking for a shark. Some type of up air. And one thing I want to criticize DLC on doing. Oh, that's the game with the nair up smash. But one thing I want to criticize DLC on doing is that every time he does a short hop, he does an auto. Yeah, he always does a move. He always throws out a move. And, like, I feel like nearly landing, every landing option he did, he threw out a move. And X Yosher kind of capitalized on it because he's Fox. Yeah. yeah. A dash attack, up tilt, or up smash. Especially at those lower percents, I mean, mm -hmm. you really got to be, you got to make use of your empty hops. Empty hops are such a great tool mm -hmm. uh, for just about, like, every Smash game. Yeah, uh, every Just Smash about game. every platformer. Yeah. Uh, but in this game in particular, because you can't, you can't run through your opponent, so you have to use your short hop to, like, go past them. Mm -hmm. Or you can use your directional air dodge, but then, you know, you end up in lag for a little bit. Yeah. Um, but, but uh, yeah, just you have to make some use of your empty hops yeah, to you mix up your approach. Uh, if you keep throwing out those moves, you'll you will just get shield. Like, they'll just shield it and they'll punish you. Mm. And like the the thing about empty hops are they help you, they help uh, build more pressure because you have the option to just land and just grab them. Like right. if they're still stuck in the shield, right? Right. So it makes them have to think more. Do like, can I stay in shield? Is my shield safe anymore? Can I like maybe if he lands. And then maybe he just does a grounded move instead, and now he now he's like maybe I can't let go of shield anymore. <laughs> right, right. I mean, we all, he, then like the you take the game up to the to the next level where you start adding in cross ups to it because we didn't see a lot of cross ups from him no. either. He was very straightforward about his approach. Yeah, but and, yeah. I, and I was gonna say, um, like when you're getting crossed up like that, you have it's a little harder to turn 